like a busted it. <sighs> well, it looks busted. It looks so busted that the only place that he can show his face is in the sewer. <laughs> hey, Cagnistas, it's Marisha. Now, I've never seen a movie, and I never will, but I do respect the fact that he's the dancing clown. You know, I dance my darn self. <laughs> Is that pretty close? I don't know. I'll never find out. I'm not watching it. I don't need to watch it. I don't know. Maybe in, in, in fun circumstances, in like a group of like 10 or more, and it's just on the TV already, and I'm like, I can't change the channel, and I have a good snack, sriracha almonds, maybe. I'm gonna make an it clown a cake for you guys. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Then we can get started. Okay, cake nieces, this is my delicious nine inch vanilla cake. Check the description below for that tasty recipe and video tutorial. I have cut out my Pennywise picture. This is the picture that I chose. You can pick any picture really and just go along with it. So as you can see, I also cut the cake and you will see those scraps in a future video. They will be in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, all nice and fresh. So now I'm gonna put my template back onto the cake and I'm gonna cut out the hair. I'm not cutting all the way through. When he takes off the wig, this is what's going on. So anyway, <laughs> now I'm just gonna cut about a half inch of cake off. As you can see, I really just want to make the face stand up a little bit further than the hair. So the hair has to be kind of back a little bit because he's got a big forehead and a lot of face to work with. So now I'm going to cut out the eye section. I'm also going to mark the nose area and those cheeks so that I can really see what I need to carve this cake. And I'm using a random fillet knife that you would use to fillet fish and chicken and so on and so forth. I just really like using this knife because it's always super sharp and it's very thin and flexible and it works for me. I thought I was gonna leave lips. I'm like, what in the world? Why would I leave his lips there? So I'm just leaving his cheeks. I made his forehead pretty prominent and I removed all of that eye section. I'm going to crumb coat the entire cake so that I can really see what's going on. I took away all of the browning and then once that hardens, I went in with a thicker coat of buttercream frosting. Check the description below for my buttercream frosting as well. Now comes where we get very specific with the features and I'm gonna use fondant with that because you could really play with it and mold it. So I just molded a nose about the size of the template and then he's got those really juicy lips my goodness so I put those on there it's got like some serious eyebrow bone structure going on and then I also filled in a little bit around his eye sockets and he's got marvelous cheekbones might I add so I filled in a little bit of that and then I put two dots of fondant there for eyes and now we're gonna cover the entire cake with another layer of white fondant and this is why I love doing this Pennywise cake because I don't have the color of the fondant he's wearing like some type of white face makeup so there was no need for us to color this that was awesome using my fondant tools to kind of mold around the fondant doing any type of face cake you know there's always that ugly stage and this is kind of it so we're just going to focus on his features he's got those lines that go through his brow bone and then he's got those deep cheek areas which we may pronounce and then that bottom lip take a look at that bottom lip I even made a little bit of his uh, chin neck area just like a little fold there because that makeup is heavy 
So now I'm just going to paint the lips red. Now I would have loved to have a deeper red, but the only red that I have is Christmas red. And you can mix this with vodka or some type of clear alcohol. Also notice that I really made that brow bone pronounced because he's got like a grimacing face. He does have some wrinkles on the side of his eyes. And then he's also got those lines in the forehead. And he's got plenty of forehead, so you should have plenty of space to make those lines. I colored the nose as well. Then I used the edible marker to do that eye area. And then I'm going to connect that line from the side of his mouth up to the bottom of the eyes and just working slowly and carefully so that it's as precise as possible. Now to make the forehead lines super pronounced, I went in with black and I wish I hadn't done that because I really didn't like the way that it looked. So I did remove that later and the way that I remove color like that is just by going in with a wet cloth. You may even have to go in with like an X-Acto knife and kind of scrape it away. That's just how I fix little stuff like that. I'm going to fill in his eye sockets with black petal dust. Once I have his eye sockets fully filled in with black, then I'm going to go in with red fondant and we're going to create his hair. Once I have that fondant on there, then I can use my tools to make the strands really stand out and make it look like he took some time on his hair. He may be a crazy guy, but he really does put a lot into his look. He puts a lot into his hair. My goodness, can you imagine for me to do that makeup in the beginning, it took me a good 30 minutes, okay? And that was horrible. This man is very precise. You know, I don't even know if he's a man. I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's a born a clown or if he just comes out looking like that. But if he's doing his makeup, he's really taking his time. So, you know, we just wanna appreciate that in the cake and <laughs> really focus on each strand of hair as well as that hairline. Now we're going to focus on the eyes. I used some yellow fondant. I just used a coupler to cut out the yellow parts of the eyes and then I just rolled black fondant to make the pupils. I could not decide if I wanted my nails to be white or dark gray. So one hand is white and one hand is dark gray. We're not even gonna focus on that. The pupils are going to go right onto the whites of the eyes. Remember that scene where like his eyes look crazy? You could definitely make his eyes look crazy. Like if I had just left that sitting on the nose, it would have been realistic for him. But anyway, I'm gonna cut away part of the eye and stick that on there with some water. And then go around the yellow of his eye with red edible marker. And then draw little teeny lines in there to make it look realistic. Pennywise is totally coming together. Oh, those teeth, I almost forgot. I had Pennywise looking gummy. So I just used some white fondant that I colored with yellow. I feel like I did his teeth really long. They're not even that long. <laughs> and then two shorter ones on the sides. Now Pennywise is known for that beautiful vintage collar outfit that he wears. So I have some extra doilies that I've had for a really long time. I'm gonna make his collar out of these doilies just by 
folding them into a fan like how we did in elementary school for all of our arts and crafts projects and then I'm going to cut it a little bit put a little bit of water under the chin area and you can stick that paper right on there once you do that Pennywise has come to life This is my Pennywise It Cake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. For more face cakes, check the description below. And I will see you guys soon. Couture and a Pennywise It Cake. Bye guys. It's just me and you now. I feel like now that we are in the same room, he's not as threatening. He smells kind of sweet. I think he's creepy for sure. I'm overall pleased with you, not in life, because you still eat kids or whatever you do. I don't know. I'll never know. The Cake Nista comment of the day goes to Anissa Subaki. I hope that I'm saying your name right. She comments on my graduation cake. I know this is an old video, but what do you use to attach the fondant pieces? Is it water or corn syrup? great video. I am always attaching my fountain pieces with water. I have done corn syrup to attach things and I find that that works also. I just pretty much go with however I feel. If I feel like grabbing the corn syrup from the cabinet and doing like this for five minutes while it pours out, then I'll use corn syrup. But majority of the time all I feel like doing is at the faucet. I pretty much use water for all of my videos. It works well, it hasn't failed me yet. Thank you so much Anissa for commenting. And if you would like to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is comment. All you have to do is comment. But it's a Cake Nisa comment, so you also have to be subscribed to be a Cake Nisa. See how that goes? Daisy, am I knocking you over? Kinda. We're matching kinda. My little Daisy. Please subscribe to the channel and press that is actually kind of cute. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Cake Nieces. Blow your kisses. <laughs>